Have you ever been playing a video game and then looked up at the clock and realized, ah crap, it's later than I thought? Getting lost in a video game happens to everyone from time to time, and can be a good thing if that's what you're looking for. Some of the games most notorious for this are ones that are extremely relaxing and offer simple repetitive tasks, like Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, or the recent Stardew Valley, The Sims, and even games like Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. Seriously, ATS is my go-to game when I want to relax and zone out for a while. Just crank up the tunes and drive off into the distance. Rhythm games are pretty good for this too, especially ones with a focus on sound, but I've never seen one quite like Thumper. Touted as a rhythm violence game by the developer, Drool, it certainly lives up to that title. Despite being a rhythm game, it has a very dark, oppressive, and dangerous atmosphere, with an art style that absolutely oozes cosmic horror. Tendrils undulate unsettlingly as you race down the track, thumping along to the beat. Bosses are large, menacingly designed geometric shapes that move about in a way that insinuates life, intelligence, and malice. Heavy rhythmic beats make up the music, which resembles war drums while your struggle to survive weaves in higher pitched notes and deep thumps, with tension noises working their way in that gives the player a sense of being pursued. Everything about the environment and gameplay feels like you are in a place that you don't belong, a place beyond your comprehension, a place that wants you gone. And all of this is cemented when you reach the end of each level and encounter Crackhead, the final boss, who throws everything you've learned in that level at you in a barrage that has you fighting desperately for your life. And somehow, in spite of the dread that the art inspires, it's incredibly easy to get lost in Thumper. The music and visuals come together in a way that draws you in and commands your attention, which is probably for the best, considering the pace of gameplay and how demanding Thumper is on your reaction time. The gameplay and music work together as a finely old machine, and push the player to work the same way. Every marker you thump on, and all the obstacles you plow through flow along with the beat, filling in the sound of the game quite nicely and getting the player engrossed in the rhythm. All of this comes together in a way that naturally enters the player into a zen-like state, where the player isn't just reacting to the game, but anticipating it, becoming part of the rhythm and feeling the game beyond even audio and visual cues to pull off insane reaction times. Ultimately, the thing that I find most interesting about all of this, and is the point of the whole video, is that this combination of extremely heavy atmosphere, challenge, and drawing the player in makes me lose track of time in a way that few games like this do, and leaves me feeling drained when I finish playing. In fact, Despite losing myself in the game, I've not been able to play Thumper for more than about an hour in a single session. I end up stopping due to exhaustion because of the intensity of the game. And by no means is this a bad thing at all, it just means that I have to enjoy Thumper in shorter doses. Most games that I've played that do this to me are far more chill and are a great way to unwind at the end of the day. And this is what sets Thumper apart. Games like Stardew Valley take you out of the world too, but through relaxation and a calm atmosphere. They allow you to get away from everything for a while, and for a lot of people, that's extremely important to them. Having something happy that lets you forget about your worries for just a little while is normal, be it a game or even something that allows you to express yourself creatively like drawing, photography, or if you're like me, creating videos. But the thing that surprises me is that despite how heavy Thumper can be, it can still do that same thing, albeit in a different manner. It may not be a relaxing experience like other games, but the feeling of beating the challenges presented to you in Thumper is cathartic. Even if they achieve this in a different way, all of these things allow you to de-stress so that you can move on with renewed energy. I suppose if I had to boil this video down to what I'm really trying to say here, it would be that Thumper is a unique and compelling experience, and I can't think of any games that I've played that have felt quite like this one does. I've been drawn into games before, but this is the first one where I've really felt like the game became part of me and that I could intuit what was coming rather than consciously relying on visual or auditory tells. This game made me feel like I was surpassing my own limits, that I was playing better than I should be able to, and when I stopped after what felt like hours had passed, being a bit thrown when I realized that it hadn't been nearly as long as it seemed. Thumper is something special, and I love it, and I highly encourage anyone to give it a chance. Sorry if this came out too rambly, I wanted to talk about it, but I had a really hard time trying to put my thoughts into words. Hopefully it worked? I hope you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. Feedback in the comments is always helpful, and if you'd like to help me grow, then sharing this video with your friends, or in relevant places on the internet, is a great way to help and always appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time.